Welcome, true believers, to Organic Priced Books. I'm your guest host, The Bad Wolf from Bad Wolf Comics, and today we're going to overview X Lives of Wolverine, X Deaths of Wolverine. Let's take a look. All right, let's get into this. So here's your dust jacket. This is the DM cover. Here's our spine. In the back. Take the dust jacket off here. And it's got a yellow hardcover. Kind of basic, actually, compared to some of the other stuff I've seen from Marvel. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty basic, but uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Let's dig into this. The most expansive Wolverine story of all time. The mutant known as Wolverine has lived many lives under many different identities. But never before has the fate of the future been so entwined with his past. To prevent a terrible tragedy, Logan must travel to various points in time to prevent the death of a key figure in mutant history. But that's only the beginning. Benjamin Percy presents a time-shredding saga across all of Wolverine history and futures yet to come. Alright, so this book really collects X Lies of Wolverine 1 to 5 and X Deaths of Wolverine 1 to 5. Um, man, um, this has a lot to do with some very modern X-Men stories. Probably the first that I've actually read of the new modern era stories. I probably should have started earlier with some other stuff. Uh, but uh, we're just going to go through the art here and a little bit of the story so we can get a little, so you can get a little bit better idea of what it's about. Um, it's really like uh, Quantum Leap meets X-Men meets Terminator. Uh, Wolverine is sent back in time via leaping into his own body along his own timeline. Um, and he has to save a fellow X-Men that is targeted for assassination by Omega Red, who's jumping into other people's bodies along the timeline in order to get to this mutant. Um, but let's just take a look. Uh, I like the pages in this. Uh, the pages are thick enough that I can't see through them when I'm turning the pages. They're a nice high gloss, uh, photo papery kind of uh, paper. Uh, so I really like that. Uh, a lot of the newer Marvel books just aren't living up to, the, to par with the paper. So uh, I really was... Um, pleasantly surprised that uh, they went ahead and it went with a higher quality paper. I love this splash shot here. And uh, the second main plot in this is Moira McTaggart. Um, she's been exiled from Krakoa. She's considered a traitor by mutants. The FBI is also after her for other reasons. Uh, this does take place right after Inferno, so if you haven't read Inferno, I highly suggest you read that. Um, it was very confusing for me in some parts just because I, I hadn't read that. And it's, it's actually probably spoiled a few things for me when I go back to Inferno later uh, to, to see what the, how the story actually began. So yeah, Mystique is on the trail of Moira McTaggart, and uh, Moira is living powerless. Uh, she's got this phalanx arm. Yeah, here, Moira's cut her hair. She's going incognito. So here he's back fighting with Sabretooth and Maverick. Uh, back when he was a uh, mercenary for hire, he's kind of regretting some of his past decisions, talking to Gene about it in his head. Those phalanx claws, man. And you're back with Moira. Yeah, the story was very confusing for me at first, um, but as I started to read further, um, I, I did kind of catch up. I mean, it was it was actually a really good story. Uh, once I kind of got my bearings of where I was and what was happening and and uh, what had transpired in the past. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm missing a lot, so I really need to go back and, and read a lot of that. So I'm, I'm, it's actually renewed my interest to go back and read those stories. But uh, I mean, the lettering is great. Uh, the writing is all really good. The, the art is great. The paper is really high quality. I like that. Uh, the binding actually is also really good, um, if you can see. It's, it's really small, but uh, it's broke in well. It doesn't creak and crack. Um, I'm able to read the story uh, without any problems. That's a great splash page. And here's Moira again. Another segment on her. Um, and the, the, the Wolverine kids going taking care of business here. They've basically been called in because um, this, of this phalanx version of Wolverine that's running around. And uh, they don't know how else to stop him other than to send another one Wolverine against another Wolverine. Basically fighting fire with fire there. So... Um, it was really interesting. Oh, he's back in the Weapon X facility here. 
looks like he's a pilot here. And we're going to skip a few pages here because I don't want to give too much away. There's a lot of spoilers in that last page. I know I give some already, but I try not to give too terribly many. All right. Let's see there. Looks like they're having a family moment here. Again, I'm going to skip a few, not trying to spoil too terribly much. But uh, if you're if you're a Wolverine fan, and you like the timeline stuff, it's not too confusing for you, where they bounce back and forth. This is definitely a book for you, man. Um, I mean, there's a lot of confusion for me because I haven't read a lot of the backstory, but overall, the book was good. The story was good. Wolverine's putting on the classic. A little bit of Omega Red here. But, I mean, it was just, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, once I got past being all the confusion and whatnot of the, of the story. And we're just about finished through the book here. I'm going to skip another big chunk because every page there had major spoilers. And I didn't want to do that. Skipping again. Little family moment we're having. And here we have all the extras. Uh, a lot of extra, you know, these are the covers and whatnot. This is X Lies of Wolverine number one variant. Another variant cover for X Lies Wolverine one number one. Oh, what a great shot. X Lies of Wolverine number one and X Deaths of Wolverine number one connecting variants. So this is both number one cover variant covers and they, they connected together. Mm -hmm. So X Lies of Wolverine number one Stormbreakers variant here. Number one animation style, classic homage. X Lies of Wolverine variant. This kind of almost looks like uh, the Spider Man Spider Verse cover homage. Maybe that's what that is, but it, it looks a lot like it. I like that. And then another X Lies of Wolverine variant. Here's number two variants. Here's our number three variants. Very nice. Our number four. X Lies Wolverine number five variants. Very nice. I like that. That's pretty sweet too. This is the X Lies Wolverine number five and Deaths of Wolverine number five. They were connecting the spines on these. That is sweet. I like that. Here's our Phalanx Wolverine. X Deaths of Wolverine number one Omega Wolverine spoiler variant. So I'm spoiling the spoiler variant. <laughs> Right here, folks. X Deaths of Wolverine number one Stormbreakers variant. So we have X Lives of Wolverine and X Deaths of Wolverine number one. And then second printing. Okay. <laughs> Anime style variant for X Lives number one. And a lot of variants for this, man. Well, that's a cool shot. Looks like they had some cards, trading card variants, huh? Nice. Top secret files. There we go. And that, as they say, is that. This book retails for $75. You can get it right now at Organic Price Books for $58. A uh, few books to recommend reading with this book and companion. I would recommend the X of Swords, the Hickman X-Men, and Inferno X-Men. Uh, those three books pretty go hand in hand with this era, and I highly recommend reading those before you get into this. But that's our overview for X Lives of Wolverine, X Deaths of Wolverine. If you enjoyed this video, stick around, true believers. I've got a new video for Organic Price Books every month, and we have new content all the time on the Bad Wolf Comics channel. Come see us soon. I am the Bad Wolf. This is Bad Wolf Comics. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.